Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another little out and about video for you guys today. As you can see, I'm outside. My nerdy ass is not cooped up in the house right now, watching movies, you know, doing my business. I'm rocking out right now with my Blockbuster bag, you know, that I got from the good people over at Dub Good and everything when they had that Blockbuster pop-up shop. But uh, right now, uh, there's a special event going on over at Dark Delicacies. It's called the Masters of Horror Signing. They have people there like Mick Garris, Joe Dante, and someone else over there that's very, 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 very cool that I've never seen out and about before, like at conventions and stuff before. So I'm gonna be going down there. That's to say, he directed the movie Juice with Tupac, and he also was the cinematographer on the movie Do the Right Thing. So. Uh, Let's go on down there and see how this uh, turnout is. Well, just arrived to Dark Delicacies, baby. Let's head on in and see all the madness that is within the Masters of Horror signing. And of course, the first people I see when I walk into Dark Delicacies is some of the crew over here. We got Amy, we got the two Chris's. What's up, bro? Bow. Dude, look at this. You got your stack of stuff to get signed? Yeah, and everything? Oh my god. I wish I would have gone to a Blockbuster video uh, pop-up shop to get some of these. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hell yeah, boy. But look at this. They're all like hoarding up on like different things over here. We even got my homeboy Alfonso up in the house rocking out, man. What you been up to, homie? Yeah, you know, just uh, work pretty much. It's my first time going to signing. Yeah, first time in a while, huh? Yeah, it's been a while. First time here uh, signing for the new cartel store. Oh, that's cool, man. I got, a, I got, I brought a couple things to get signed. But you guys always bring like bags and I know, like I big so old things. Stuff. I know. Like holy shit. <laughs> Here's some of the guest list right here uh, that you see. We got Tom Holland off in the distance. Ernest Dickerson over there, Joe Dante, Mick Garris up in the house, a whole bunch of people. As you can tell, we're in Dark Delicacies, and I'm living up to my name right now of the wet one. Like, I have like booby sweat going on, my Fremunda boob is like all, all sweatish. Hey man, shut up! <laughs> man, you smell like Badus signed over here by the DVD wall. You know, just chilling out over here. They have a bunch of this like, sign shit back here from like past events and stuff. We also got some of the crew members just chilling, Woo, messing chilling around. Bread. Yeah, man. Dude, so what, you, what the hell have you guys been up to lately? Uh, you know, just uh, getting some signatures, you know. Yeah, I mean, like, you, every, life's going good. I, I know. I, no, I know. But I, I know you've been doing the wrestling thing. Like, I see, like, stuff on Instagram where you're, like, get, you're getting chops and shit. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I, like, it's fucking fun to see that shit. Yeah, can you take one right now? Yeah, give him a chop. Right no, no, no. Here you, we go. Here we go. Give him a chop. Birthday chop. <laughs> oh, shit. He was gonna take it too. And I, I'm still doing the wrestling, announcing, ring announcing Baja Stars USA, August 10th. Hell yeah, dude. And since Mick Garris is in the house, they even have a poster here, you know, from uh, Hocus Pocus, signed by him down there. But the poster is 100 bucks because it's kind of hard to come by. But that, that is pretty cool, man. I've always loved that movie, and that, that, art, that artwork is amazing. And of course, they have one over here signed too, the fly too, how dope is that? But here are some of the other Masters of Horror DVDs. You guys remember these when they came out, you know, like a, a good amount of years ago, like Jennifer. Like I, I have like the complete series of, or the complete seasons of these ones on like DVD and stuff at home, like in the skull set and like a mausoleum set and stuff, but only some of the directors of these ones are here today. But there's definitely a good turnout here of uh, people showing their love for the Masters of Horror themselves. Just, Packing the building here. It's been done. It's been done. Yeah. Yeah. I'm now with the legend himself, Ernest Dickerson, right now, the cinematographer of one of my favorite movies of all time, Do the Right Thing. And he also directed Juice, you know, one of Tupac's uh, first movies, one of his first movies, right? His first. Yeah. But his absolute first. How, how was it working with Tupac? It was great. It was, it was obviously, you know, it was obvious how brilliant he was as a young man, as an artist. He was still finding his voice in terms of his rapping, because while we were shooting, in between takes, he would be uh, sitting there with a notebook writing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you could tell he was always interested in people, and he was always meeting people and trying to find out what, what, what forces were driving their lives. And I think that's what he used in his artwork. I, I, think, that, I think that's really cool, because I've always been a fan of his, his work, too. But what was it that... You know, got you into wanting to be a cinematographer because I think you started off as a cinematographer first, right? Mm -hmm. In the business, how, how did you how did you get to even meet? You know, like you know, uh, get to you know start working with uh, you know Spike Spike and stuff. Well, you know, when I was growing up, 
I was always interested in why certain movies look the way they did. Yeah. And it's a and it's a story I love to tell because it was vivid in my memory. I was sitting watching David Lean's Oliver Twist with my uncle, and the opening scenes, which are absolutely beautiful black and white photography, where his mother is in labor with him walking across the moors. My uncle just happened to mention, "Damn, this photography is amazing," and that's when it, I realized that movies were photographed. Yeah. And so then I wanted to find out more about who this person called the director of photography was, and so, um, so that so, just snowballed. Yeah. So like, you, how did you transition from that into the directing chair? Like, how, how did you get that opportunity from doing that to getting like juice and stuff? Well, after we, after I got out of NYU film school. Um, I, you know, a friend of mine from, from college days, Gerard Brown, and I wrote Juice because yeah. we were trying to, we were hoping to, 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 to come up with a movie that, that would debut us as a writer-director team. And this was before I shot my first film, so, you know, just trying to, you know, figure out how I'm going to fit into the business. So we wrote Juice. <coughs> Nobody would touch it. Yeah. And my career as a cinematographer took off. So I wound up sitting on the shelf for almost 10 years. Uh, you know, I had no, we got no encouragement to take it out there at all. So it sat there mm -hmm. until Gerard was going for a, a different agent. She wanted to read something. She read Juice and she was like shocked. Why is it just sitting here? Mm -hmm. And so it did go around and eventually it was picked up by a young, uh, team of guys who were looking for their first project to produce, one of whom was David Heyman. Mm. And David Juice was his first film as a producer. A couple of years later, he got the, the early rights to a, a series of books about a boy wizard. Um, mm. And he wound up producing all the Harry Potter films. That's pretty cool, yeah. And then he ultimately produced the movie uh, 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 Gravity. Mm. So, but Juice was his start. Yeah, I just have one last question for you. Since you, like, you started off doing movies like Do the Right Thing and Juice, and how did you transition from that to horror films when you did Demon Knight? Was it, was it hard for you or different for you to, to go from doing those kind of movies to a horror film? No, because I grew up watching horror films. The earliest films I remember ever seeing were horror films. So it was always in the cards for me to do horror mm -hmm. and science fiction because uh, I, I read horror and science fiction. That's and, cool. um, and I always have and still do to this day. And I heard from a couple of people that there you, you've you written or someone's written Demon Knight too, like there's a script out there maybe? I don't even heard about that. No, I thought I heard someone talking about that. But no, but there should, should be. There yeah. should be. But is there any websites out there people you can plug out there, like Instagram, Twitter? Um, I don't know. That's okay. Yeah. But just show him some love. He's a really cool guy. Thank you so much for giving me the time. Thank you. I really do appreciate Thank your work, sir. Thank you. Did you guys make out like bandits? Oh god, yeah. I guess given the writer uh, behind a lot of these movies, yeah. I guess I could say I feel like a king. Yeah, dude, and I love how Amy's here with a fan, just like chilling. Yeah. She's, she's the only one here with a fan. Here. Be I she got signed here. Oh shit, she had Joe Dante sign that. Oh yeah. Check this out, guys. Still at Dark Delicacies. And there's a person here that brought a cool Masters of Horror poster. And it has it signed by a lot of other people already. Who do you have it signed by already? Joe Dante, Tom uh, Hollins, uh, Mick Garris, Ernest Dickerson. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty much almost everyone, right? Pretty much everybody who's done the movie, done the show. Yes, they have actually signed today. That is so cool, man. All right, guys, we're parting ways. Oh, man, it was fun times. Yeah, man. Have, get on, get on home safe. On San, Di same, San Diego bound, you guys go. Deuces. But man, how cool was that? Going to Dark Delicacies, coming across some of the crew members over there. Really wasn't expecting them, but kind of was because they're nerds and they always go to these things. But it was cool seeing them. I have links for their YouTube channels in the description box. But uh, right now, I'm, in, I'm still, you know, out, out and about, and I'm about to go get some food before I go to this movie uh, in a little bit. But of course, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you guys what I hoarded up on and what I got signed. But before I go to the movie, I'm going to the mall food court area to get some grub. Well, this place looks pretty good. It looks like it has like sushi and all sorts of different stuff. So I think I'm gonna get something from here. You guys, I ended up getting the chicken teriyaki uh, bowl over here. I didn't know it was gonna be that big and it came with these, you know, chicken uh, or vegetable egg rolls. I didn't, I didn't expect that, but hey, I'll eat the chicken part at least. But the movie starts in like 20 minutes. So I gotta like hurry up and get the hell up there. And the movie I'm gonna be seeing is uh, The Art of Defense. So it looks like it could be kind of like a fun, cringy ride. Well, everyone just got out of the film right now, The Art of the fence starring Jesse Eisenberg and everything. I thought that movie was kind of quirky and you know quirky and fun 
Because you guys know I always like, you know, martial art movies. It really wasn't like a white, you know, like a kick-ass, you know, a Hong Kong style martial art movie or anything like that. But uh, it's, it's a real dark, you know, humored, you know, uh, dark comedy film that, you know, I, I kind of, you know, thoroughly enjoyed. You know what I mean? How like some like good witty humor uh, in there. It's like real, some of, some of the comedy is like real dry, but like in, in, in a good way, you know? Um, I'm not going to get in like in a big in-depth review, but it's pretty much about Jesse Eisenberg's character who, um, uh, you know, he's like a nerdy guy that works at an office, you know, like doing like the paperwork, the bill, you know, like, you know, invoice shit. And one day he gets, you know, beat up in the middle of the street and he wants to take self-defense to like fight back the bad guys. And that's what, you know, it's one of those kind of things. Check out the trailer. It was actually, it was actually entertaining. But right now, I'm gonna head home and show you guys what I picked up and what I got signed today. So let's go. Time to show you guys what I got today. Uh, mostly just, you know, autograph stuff that I have, you know, I, I wanted for my collection. But, uh, I went to Dark Delicacies, like I said, they were having that, um, uh, you know, Masters of Horror signing. And all you had to do was buy, like, a DVD that, of, of the old Masters of, of Horror set. You know, the old, like, DVDs that they had. And, uh, I ended up just buying these two. I didn't really need to. Because I already have, like, you know, Seasons 1 and 2 and stuff like that on Blu-ray. I even have the, the old, like, you know, Skull set. And the mausoleum set that came out back in the day. But, you know, I bought these just to get in line to meet the people and stuff. There was, it was 10 bucks. Who cares? And then and I ended up getting them signed, too. And uh, this one right here is the V Word. God signed by Mick Garris. And, uh, you know, um, Ernest Dickerson, the, the director of this one. I keep, I forgot he's the one that made this one. But, uh, you know, he, he directed this one. And I also got, uh, We All Scream for Ice Cream. Which I already have, like I said, in those other sets already. Signed by Mick Garris. And uh, Tom Holland, and I forgot the other guy, I believe, like, the editor or the composer uh, of this one right here, which is cool to add to my collection right there. Uh, I, remember, I remember I remember owning these separate ones before when they first came out a long, long time ago. But I pretty much got that just so I can, you know, get in line for the, you know, for the, the other stuff that I actually brought in to get signed. And it was cool, man. It was, it was really cool. They weren't, none of them that I, that I noticed were really, you know, charging for their autographs at the time, uh, it was, which was dope to me. Because, like, you know, I, the autographs really should be free. You know what I mean? Like, should they really, like, charge, you know, for some of the... They, they like your work. They want you, you know, why should they charge? But, like, whatever. These these people today were not charging. Uh, I, I brought this over because I found out that the director of this film was going to be there. This is the House on Haunted Hill, the, the Scream Factory edition. Uh, you know, uh, William Malone, uh, he signed right there on, on the house itself. He, you know, he signed my copy of, uh, you know, House on Haunted Hill right there. Really, really nice guy. And uh, this one right here was super cool because I always see him at conventions. And I think he always charges like 40 or $50 to sign stuff. And I'm just like, hmm, hmm. You know what I mean? I'm like, I don't, I can't, I, I want to, but I don't want to spend the money to do so. Because, you know, I, I, I'm not the richest guy on the planet. But uh, I finally added another autograph to my uh, Child's Play collection. And uh, right here, this is, you know, the Child's Play, the Complete Collection. This is the one that came out. And now there's, like, the other one that, you know, there's, like, two of these. Now there's a Complete Collection, but they're not really all complete. But, uh, you know, there's always going to be another one. But this one I have, I had signed by multiple people in the past. You know, like, uh, you know, Don Mancini, David Kirshner, the producer of all the films, Jennifer Tilly. And now, you know, there was uh, uh, Billy Boyd, I believe his name is, is on here. Uh, and now, Tom Holland. Uh, the director of the very first uh, Child's Play film down here in the corner. Uh, so that's pretty cool to add on to my, you know, my Child's Play set. Because he usually charges like 40 or 50 bucks or more at these conventions and stuff. I, I even got a picture with him too. And I was talking to him, you know, for a little bit about like, weight loss. Just for a second or two about weight loss. Because, you know, I was talking to him about one of my movies that I liked that he, that he made. That, you know, now that I saw that they were kind of signing for, not, you know, for free. At least because they were there to support Mick Garris and the whole Masters of Horror, you know, thing. Because all these guys directed episodes and you know in masters of horror and uh he was just there showing some love and support to him and i was talking to him about one of my favorite movies he did like i said the movie thinner and how like watching it back in the day when i was bigger 
I was going, I wish like a voodoo, somebody, you know, a, a voodoo priestess would like, you know, cast a spell on me so I can lose weight and shit too. But like, not, not to that degree, if you guys ever watched the movie Thinner. But you know, he kind of laughed at that and go, really? You lost all that weight and shit? And I showed him like a little clip, you know, of you know, the before and after thing. And like, you know, he thought it was cool. So like, you know, it was, I don't know, it's just cool to meet the man and everything got that autographed. But the, the one of the main reasons I, uh, pretty much got up and out there today. Uh, don't get me wrong, Tom Holland and all these other people are cool too, you know? But like the main reason I, I really wanted to go down there today was for Ernest Dickerson, who you guys know I, I talked to on the video right here. And uh, he signed my, uh, my Juice uh, Blu-ray right here at the bottom. He's, a, you know, of course, the, the director of this film and pretty much put Spike, you know, that's, you know pretty much put uh, Tupac in his very first movie, directed or directed Tupac in his very first movie. And uh, I've, I've always re really liked... Uh, you know, uh, Ernest Dickerson's work, man. Really super cool, down-to-earth guy. And he also signed my um, Do the Right Thing Blu-ray. I know I just recently got the Criterion edition of it, but I just got this one signed because I already had it signed by Spike Lee. It's probably one of the weakest autographs I ever had on, you know, from, from a, you know, a celebrity. Spike Lee's autograph just SL. It, it looked like a little scribble. But now Ernest Dickerson, the, he was also the, you know, cinematographer of the film. Uh, you know, sign this Blu-ray. So if I, you know, if I ever go out and I see that someone else is from some, this movie's gonna be there. I'm gonna bring this to get signed instead of the other one. But like, you know, this is just, it's just cool to add, add him to, you know, my do the right thing Blu-ray right here. But that's pretty much all I, uh, you know, I got today, autograph-wise, DVD-wise, and stuff. Like I said, I just purchased these just so I can get in the line. You know, ten bucks, not a big deal. Who cares? But like, it was, it was just fun. You know what I mean? Fun to go out, you know, experience things. I know I've been to Dark Galaxies millions of times before. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, taking you guys along, you know, for my day. And uh, if you guys like what you see here, click the, you know, click the thumbs up button. Click the little uh, video link that's right here. Just check out my latest video or video I'm recommending to you right now. Uh, you know, if you guys want to check it out. And uh, I'll see you guys all on the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,